Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. What is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby, and I'm your senior enlisted advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Before we get started with our guest today, I would like to introduce my lovely co-hosts, Leah Matthews and Julie Mitchell. How y'all doing, ladies? Hi, hey guys. doing really good. Good to see you guys. Awesome. Great to see you. You ready for uh, another great episode? Absolutely. Yes, so today we are reporting live from our main store at Fort Belvoir uh, in the DC area because we're here attending uh, AUSA. And so I wanna give a shout out to our teammates here at uh, Fort Belvoir Fort Belvoir uh, that helped set up our booth at AUSA and also helped us uh, get set up here at the store uh, for the show. And I also want to give a shout out to Mr. Tom Show, my boss, uh, for connecting us with our next guests who are doing some amazing things for our military community. Without further ado, Julie, please introduce today's guest. Thanks, Chief. We have Children of Fallen Patriots Foundation here with us today, and the foundation provides college scholarships and educational counseling to military children who have lost a parent in the line of duty. The foundation has granted millions in scholarships to thousands of children. We are honored to have Fallen Patriots founder and CEO David Kim with us, as well as Lieutenant General retired H.R. McMaster, the 26th National Security Advisor. We also have Gold Star Child Cassidy LaBeouf, a 2021 graduate of Colorado State University who was helped by the foundation. Cassidy's father, Major Douglas LaBeouf, served under Lieutenant General McMaster, and they're here today, today to discuss the foundation and its important mission. Please help us welcome David, Lieutenant General McMaster, and Cassidy to Chief Chat. Hey. Hey. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, so David, Lieutenant General McMaster and Cassidy, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Really appreciate it. Hey, it's great awesome. to be here, especially to be here with Cassidy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cassidy's the star of the show today. So, <laughs> so. So can you uh, can you let our viewers know where you are where you all are joining us from today? Sure, Cassidy, I'm joining first. from New York City. <laughs> I'm I'm also Paul, in New York City. Yep, and I'm in Palo Alto, California. We've got a little East Coast West Coast action going on here today. That's great. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So, David, we're going to start off with you. Can you tell us about your Army career and what called you to serve? Sure. So I um, came from a family that had a pretty long history of service. Nobody was a career officer, but uh, a lot of folks that served in the various wars. My dad was a Korean War veteran, and uh, we've had ancestors in the Civil War all the way back to the Revolution. So, uh, you know, I, I really wanted to serve to do something uh, to help my country, uh, America's greatest country in the world. And so I think there's a sense of patriotism there as well. And it also helped me get out of a pretty tough uh, home situation. But I went to West Point, graduated there in 88, and then uh, was stationed in Panama in 1989. And we can talk about that more later, but that was really what gave rise to the idea behind children of fallen patriots. And then uh, a few years later, I, I moved on from the army, and went to the civilian world. And David, you and your wife, Cynthia, founded Children of Fallen Patriots Foundation in 2002. So can you tell us the story behind Fallen Patriots and about your enduring mission? Sure. So I was a artillery officer in 1989. I was sent to Panama with the 7th Infantry Division. And uh, we were originally there for, for safeguarding the American citizens, but then it turned into Operation Just Cause when we removed Noriega from power. And unfortunately, um, uh, a member of our unit, Sergeant uh, Delaney Gibbs, was killed in the fighting. That was five days before Christmas, and he had a baby daughter due in March. And so while I didn't know him personally, he was the only member of our battalion that was killed. And, you know, that was a really tough one for, for all of us. And I just kept thinking about his daughter and what was going to happen to her and the thousands of, of other kids like her that lose someone, not only in combat, but as everyone knows, training missions are very dangerous. A lot of losses there, a lot of suicides, unfortunately, service-connected illnesses, any light and duty death. So 
that's why we started Fallen Patriots, um, is really to honor the sacrifice of our fallen heroes. We thought the best way we could do that is to invest in the people in the future of the people they love most in the world, which are their kids, and to play some small part in helping to them to achieve the dreams their, their parents would have wanted for them. And so that was the impetus behind starting uh, Fallen Patriots with the mission that you described to help all those children who've lost a parent in the military uh, go to college and, and hopefully move on to a brighter future in their life. Awesome. Awesome. That's a, like I said, it's an awesome foundation. Uh, I didn't know too much about it uh, before the show. And so uh, definitely eager to hear how, how it's helping our service members and their family. So uh, Lieutenant General McMaster, uh, can you kind of, kind of share your story as well? And then can you tell us how you and Cassidy are connected? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I'm just really grateful for David and, and the Children of Fallen Patriots for giving us an opportunity to help, you know, and I think all of us just have to say up front, right, there's no, nothing can ever do that can, that can compensate for the loss of, of a loved one, in this case, uh, for a parent. And, but, but all of us obviously have to be as helpful as we can as part of the grieving process initially, but then also to assist those families in coping with the loss you know, financially. And then, and then, uh, and then to, to let, I think, especially family members know that all of us as a, as a military family, you know, c care about them and, and actually beyond the military family to our, the American citizens care deeply for those who made the ultimate sacrifice so that we could, we can be free and enjoy the great, promise and benefits of our uh, of our society so so I, I you know i my my connection to to um to the labeouf family and to doug go doug labeouf went way back to when he was a lieutenant and we were we were at fort Irwin, california together i was a major at the time and he was just the sharpest lieutenant i've ever seen i mean he's, he was brilliant he was more mature than most lieutenants he had already done some graduate study in 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 history and and had a kind of historical perspective and he was just a fun great great person to be around so we became you know we became you know friendly and i, and I stayed in close contact with him and he was serving in in um in, in colorado springs in a, in a in a joint command uh when when uh, when i was a commander of the third armored cavalry regiment and he sent me a note and he said hey i know you're going to combat i, I want to come with you you know and and so yeah. he was he was in a, a job where, in which he would not have deployed he volunteered to deploy with our our regiment uh to to uh, uh to to iraq uh and he brought this extraordinary talent uh with him and and helped us understand a very a very complex part of iraq that was really um had really been drugged down you know by by tribal and a sectarian and sectarian violence and given rise to al-qaeda in iraq and you know life was just choked out of that whole part of, of iraq i mean kids had not been in school for almost two years and people were hiding behind the walls of their homes it was a it was a humanitarian uh, catastrophe as, as well it, it was the training base for al-qaeda in iraq sarkawi's kind of uh, headquarters in many ways and so what Doug did is he helped us figure out these dynamics and then conduct very effective operations that defeated Al Qaeda in the area, lifted that pall of fear, and then brought life back to these communities, made a huge difference in, in real people's lives. So he served you know, honorably and courageously uh, as he did across his whole career. And then, of course, it was a, a devastating loss to us, but especially to his family. And then and then, of course, years later is when I learned about what David and, and Children of Fallen Patriots had done to support Cassidy and was so glad to reconnect with Kat, Cassidy and see her tremendous success and to see the legacy of, of Major Doug LaBeouf carry on to all those who were fortunate enough to know him in our, our army, but to see his, his legacy carried forward in his awesome daughter. So, um, you know, I, I just I'm just happy to be here to say, what a difference children of fallen patriots makes, but also to, to honor again, the memory of just a tremendous officer and fine man, uh, Doug LaBeouf. Cassidy, I can see your face like beaming with pride as he talks about your dad and his service and all he did for our country. What, what do you know about your dad and, and what can you tell us in your own words about his service? Yeah, well, I was the biggest daddy's girl. Um, so I, I love talking about my father and talking about the legacy that he leaves behind. But my dad always dreamed of becoming a soldier ever since he was a little boy. Many 
people who grew up with my dad always remember him running around the neighborhood in a pl in a play military outfit um, with toy soldiers in hand. So it was no surprise when my dad decided to join the Army ROTC program during his master's program. Um, but my dad had so much love and respect for this country. And to my dad, it was the idea that soldiers represented the best of America. And that is something that I still believe to be true today. Um, soldiers represent those who are willing to give a helping hand without hesitation, those who stand up for what is right, and those who inspire courage, honor, and self-sacrifice. Outside of the military, my father dedicated himself to bettering his community in any way he can. He was a coach, a teacher, a youth group leader, but most importantly, he was a friend to everyone he came into contact with. He was the type of man who gave everything he had into being the best friend, father, husband, and soldier he could be. Um, but you know, when those boots came off, he loved to spend time with his friends and his family. He loved to laugh and to cheer on his favorite sports teams and to read and to geek, to geek out about Star Wars and history documentaries. Um, those were always playing in our house when I was growing up. So it's just amazing to see my father's legacy taken through Fallen Patriots because he was also very passionate about education as well. Education was extremely important to him. So. Thanks for sharing that, Cassidy. Um, can tell that, you know, sharing his stories to you. And so, David, to you and talk about um, re research shows that about 25,000 dependent children have been left behind by troops, um, you know, who were fallen in the line of duty in the last 35 years. So, how do you reach these families and how can uh, families, how can they reach out to you if they need help? Yeah, that's that's correct. There are about 25,000 students who have been left behind. Uh, finding all of them is one of our twin strategic goals because uh, no charity or private organization that I'm aware of has all 25,000 names accounted for to make sure that they ultimately get the help that the, that they need and deserve and that we all want to give them. That's one of our goals. The other goal is to is to make sure that they can pay for college. And so there are a couple of VA programs that do help them, but it does not cover the full cost of college. And it leaves about a $25,000 a person gap for four years of school. And so that times 25,000 students is about $625 million of total need. So that's our other strategic goal is to, is to meet that total need. So in terms of the first, how do we find them all? It's really, as we talk about it, a top down and a bottoms up effort and this is where a lot of your listeners could really help us because on the bottoms up we do a lot of outreach to to other sister charities who are helping gold star families and uh with with other things and where we can um, you know reach their constituents and, and get them enrolled in our process and we do want to find those families as early as possible even if the children are very very young so that we can stay in touch and make sure that they can plan ahead for their college expenses and that we'll be there to help them when the time is right and so a lot of a lot of your listeners, I'm sure, know Gold Star families, and maybe they could you could refer them to us, and they can go right on our website and register very easily. The other way that we find families is, is top down, which is uh, working with uh, the VA, for example, makes Gold Star families aware of our organization and, and the help that we provide, and so families can reach out to us to uh, to enroll that way as well. So it's uh, every single day we have. Uh, a big focus on it. I'm, I'm pleased to say we've made a lot of progress. We've found over 10,500 of the students, which I think must be, you know, among the top out there in terms of charities, in terms of being able to find these students. It's, this is all we do. We're a focus factory. We're completely focused on Gold Star children and sending them to college. And so we want to keep, keep enrolling as many as we can. Awesome. Awesome. And um, Cassidy, uh, just, you know, you describing your father, he sounds like an amazing human being. And I think we all can strive to be a better human being each and every day. So thank you for sharing that story. But we, we also love to hear about your success story. And, and can you share kind of how you connected with Fallen Patriot and uh, how it helped you? Of course, I would love to. So I was connected to Fallen Patriots through a veterans out um, outreach group. Uh, right after I graduated high school, so the summer of 2017, um, we were trying to figure out finances, financial aid, all of that. So that was very helpful to come in connection with Children of Fallen Patriots because they also helped me walk through and understand my 
veteran benefits. So that was great. But during my time at Colorado State, Children of Fallen Patriots provided me with various scholarships that covered tuition differences, books, school supplies, and living costs. I was also fortunate enough to receive a corporate a gift from a corporate sponsor, which was a brand new Mac laptop, which was a great surprise. I'm still using that laptop today. But because of the support I was receiving, I was able to fully focus on my academics without any financial burdens, which also allowed me to pursue competitive and in unpaid internships to help me build a professional foundation. I've also had the honor of attending various career events through Children of Fallen Patriots, which led me to broaden my professional skills and network. But most importantly, through these events, I was also able to connect with other Gold Star children who've become like a second family to me. I still get very emotional talking about the friendships that I've made through Fallen Patriots because before attending a Fallen Patriots event, I actually had never met other Gold Star children. So in 2019, when I attended my first Fallen Patriots career event in Atlanta, it felt like this is exactly where I was meant to be um, in an odd way that these were the people I was supposed to meet. My friends and I like to describe it as seeing colors because genuinely that's how it felt. Um, during that event, we spent all night sharing each other's stories, talking about our struggles and talking about each other's service members. I think during that trip, I got a total of three hours of sleep just because we wanted to spend so as much time as we could together. Um, the relationships were so strong. Um, personally, I attended over 10 years of therapy after my dad passed away. But those three days with Fallen Patriots healed my heart and really showed me what it meant to live my best life, not only for myself, but for my father as well. Now our Fallen Patriots family is celebrating graduations and engagements and weddings and expanding families and it's absolutely beautiful to be able to share those life moments with each other um, i've also had the opportunity to intern for the foundation was which was extremely healing as well my father passed away with other service members so we actually were able to reach out to those families as well and get them enrolled with children of fallen patriots which was absolutely awesome fallen patriots and their supporters have helped me in countless ways and it's so hard to pick um, my favorite, but most importantly, they honored my father's life by gifting me with an education. I will never forget the support I've received through Fallen Patriots and their donors. Um, one thing for me that I get very emotional about is Fallen Patriots and their supporters never doubted my abilities, and they always encouraged me to strive for greatness. Because of our donors, I was able to graduate debt-free in the spring from Colorado State with a job lined up post-graduation. Um, their generosity goes beyond what words can ever describe, but their investment in me and in my education and in other fam Gold Star families it is what strives me to be successful. Not only do I want my family to be proud of me, but I want my Fallen Patriots family to be proud of me, and I want their supporters to be proud of my success as well. If it weren't for Fallen Patriots and their supporters, I genuinely have no idea where I would be today. It's really hard to picture my life without them. Man, well, I can tell you that Exchange family, we're proud of you too. So add us to the list. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Cassidy, you had the honor of speaking at the Fallen Patriots Greenwich Gala back in 2019. And we're going to run a clip of your speech from the gala now for our viewers. I'm a strong believer that God has a plan and that everything happens for a reason. And if it wasn't for my dad's sacrifice, sorry, I would not have ever been connected to what I proudly call my fallen Patriots family, who through their stories, strength, and perseverance inspire me every single day. Their passion to help other surviving families mixed with their unconditional love and compassion for others makes the world a brighter place. It's through these incredible individuals and the stories they share that I feel that I know their service members. As they strive to achieve their goals and succeed in life, they are keeping the memory of their parents alive. To me and to so many other students, Children Fallen Patriots is more than a scholarship. I want to thank all of our supporters here tonight because without your generosity and support, I would not be where I am today. God bless you and everything that you're doing for Fallen Patriots to honor my dad and all the other heroes the mission of Fallen Patriots represents. You are the reason their children can proudly move forward. Thank you.
Cassidy, wow, that was that was just so powerful. Um, wanted to to let you know that we're sharing the link to the speech in our Facebook comments, so viewers can go and check out your full remarks. Thank you. Lieutenant General McMaster, we're going to turn back over to you. Wanted to get your thoughts on what does it mean to you to see Cassidy succeed? Well, it means a lot to me. I think it should mean a lot to every American. You know, I I mean, Cassidy, I think you're just such a, a tremendous example for all of us that that you're doing, I think, what all of us should do to honor our our fallen heroes is to to live well, to cherish the freedoms that they fought to preserve. Uh, and to do everything we can uh, to help those in need ar around us. And you're helping us, I think, by inspiring us. You know, I think when we look at what's happening in our society today, I think oftentimes people seem as if uh, they act as if that we don't have any agency, right? That we can't do anything to build a better future. But you mentioned, you know, the, the power that you got uh, in, in a community, a community of others who, who shared your experience and could identify with you. And, and how that helped you realize your potential. And I think it's just a great example of what we can all do for each other across our society. So as is always the case, you know, I think uh, when, whenever you go to, to, uh, to, to comfort a family that's, that, that has had these unimaginable losses, you always expect that you're going to, to in some way, you know, help them. But what ha happens, I think almost always, is that you come away strengthened by them by their resilience and their love for each other and and uh, and the example that they set. So uh, Cassidy, I would just like to say that I think that you're, 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 you are an example for all of us. And I think we should draw strength and inspiration, you know, from uh, from your experience. Well, thank you for sharing that, sir. Um, David, let, let's talk about young scholars. Uh, can you share with us how many young scholars Fallen Patriots has helped over the years and then how much aid um, have you generously been able to provide? Sure. Well, I, I think, uh, you know, I just want to thank General McMaster for, for putting that into words so beautifully because it is, it is so true that uh, the more time you spend with young people like Cassidy and her peers, the more inspired, you know, we are uh, by their example. And they're, they're just incredible young people. And it's, it's a testament to the character of the people who serve in uniform, who raised them. And, uh, and so it's a, it's a wonderful part of America. It gives me a lot of hope in, in our future. So I'm fortunate to say that we've been able to make a really good start in meeting that those two big goals that I mentioned earlier where we've provided over $50 million, five zero million in support to over 2,100 students so far. And we have uh, just under 1,000 college graduates, all of them uh, debt-free. So we made, we made a good start. And we also, uh, as Cassidy mentioned, are, are helping as best we can with holistic support to them beyond just the college aid, where uh, there are career opportunities, career seminar days, uh, internships that many of our corporate donors uh, provide to us, as well as full-time job opportunities. And in fact, Royal Bank of Canada is a very big supporter and and uh, and provided a job opportunity for Cassidy where she works now. So it, it's it's really a wonderful um, circle, and it's really driven by the fact that people out there love love the military. They want to support as as best they can, and are very eager to find many different ways to contribute to helping our, our military and their families. Well, David, you said uh, it, it's a good start. To me, that sounds like a, a great start. And so uh, that's that's just amazing. Uh, like I said, just sitting back listening to all the folks that you've impacted, uh, you and the, the foundation have impacted, man. It's, yeah, it's just, it, it's moving me right now. But uh, can you tell us how, how the pandemic affected Gold Star families and their ability to send children to college? Sure, it, it was very difficult uh, where we had uh, you reported that there was a, a lot of job losses out there among our families. Um, they're coming from fairly difficult economic circumstances to begin with, where about 55 percent of the of the surviving spouses, which are almost always uh, female, are making less than fifty thousand dollars a year trying to raise two kids. And so then COVID hits and there was a lot, lot of loss in, in, in employment. Uh, but yet the college costs didn't go down. And 
uh, even though students went remote, a lot of times there really wasn't any remediation of the cost at college. I think in, in about a quarter of the times there was, but three quarters of the times there wasn't. And so there was this continuing need for the college education costs and uh, despite getting pinched on the other side. And so fortunately, because of caring Americans across the country, we were able to sustain our level of yearly support. We did not have to reduce it in any way during COVID. And now uh, during 2021, things have been have been much better and we're, we're back to growing. So uh, I think it's a testament to how much people across America care and, and sustain their support, even though they themselves were also going through difficult times in COVID. Oh, I'm glad to hear that that your support didn't uh, wane at all during the, the pandemic. I know it's it's been a hard, you know, almost two years um, for all of us. I'm, I'm really glad to hear that your donors you know, came through because education is so important. And Lieutenant General McMaster, you're a fellow and a lecturer at Stanford, so you clearly appreciate the importance and the value of education. What advice do you have for Gold Star families who might be looking for scholastic support? Well, you know, I think, uh, for, first of all, take advantage of every opportunity that's out there. I think a lot of times, and I, I think as Cassie alluded, I mean, I, there are a lot of benefits out there in terms of scholarships and, and access to, to higher education that, that some young people aren't aware of. So I think that that uh, for all of us, uh, when we're aware of young people who are kind of setting goals for what they'd like to do after high school, it's important to, whether it's in Boys and Girls Club of America or whatever the re venue is, to just help them understand better the tremendous opportunities. Again, it's this kind of mentality these days that that we're stuck. And you know, of course, depending on your background, what zip code you're born into, that sadly still determines maybe the number of, of obstacles you have to overcome to take advantage of the great promise of America. But I, I think what, what we all have to do is to help people overcome those obstacles and understand really what the opportunities are that they that they can take advantage of to, to build a better future for themselves and, and their children and their grandchildren. Excellent. And David, um, for our viewers, how can how can the Chief Chat viewers help Fallen Patriots? There are a number of different ways that, that people can help. No, number one is there's a very big financial need, obviously, where we have these 10,000 students enrolled in our system that will be going to college one day. And a lot of them are still very young because uh, obviously uh, people uh, suffering the highest casualties are young doing the dangerous jobs and they have young kids. And so that that's need is still to come. And so there's a very big financial need. And so we would welcome, you know, financial support on our uh, website as you're putting up there on the screen. There's a fun way to do it. We're having an Army Navy fundraising initiative as well. So you, you can kind of pick your team and, and create a viral team and post it on social media, just like you would on GoFundMe. And, and we can see, uh, you know, who wins that contest between Army and Navy. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. So that, that's the first thing is financial support. The second thing is by referring families to us. And if you know a Gold Star family, please do ask, tell them about our website. They can go right there. There's a, uh, a button where they can enroll at fallenpatriots.org. And we can make sure that we get them into the system so that we can be there for them when their family's ready. And in fact, you know, we were fortunate to be able to connect with the family of Riley McCollum and you know we let them know that we'll be there when when Levi you know is ready for college 18 years from now and so we'd love to do the same thing for all the other Gold Star children out there. I wanted to let you know and to let our viewer knows our viewers know that we have pinned a link to donate um, in our comments on our Facebook feed. Uh, so right now I'm going to actually pause for a moment and turn to our live feed and share some of the viewer feedback with you. We have Connor watching and Connor says Thank you so much for the great work the foundation does. And thank you, Cassidy, for sharing your story. And then he's asking um, how Americans can help support the foundation. And Connor, we're going to go ahead and pin a link to donate into the chat comment. So if uh, you feel so inclined, you can follow the link and, and donate to help children like Cassidy. And Kiana has commented too. She said, this is such an amazing program. It takes a lot of passion and dedication to carry out the work of Fallen Patriots. I'm inspired. So people are, are loving this. Um, you're getting lots of likes and, and loves on Facebook as well, the little heart emojis. Um, we have Sandy watching. She says, hello. 
Um, so we have lots of people watching from all over. I think Cynthia Kim um, says, thank you, Exchange, for highlighting the mission of Fallen Patriots. So proud of you, Cassidy. So I think, Cynthia, that um, she belongs or she's with she's your wife, right, David, and is one of yes. the foundation's founders. So thanks for right. thanks for watching, Cynthia. We're honored to have uh, David and um Lieutenant General McMaster and, and Cassidy here with us today. It's been a, a great chat. So you guys are getting great feedback and I, I hope that you um, get some good donations out of this as well. Yeah, Thank and uh, David, and and David, you, you, you're you you trying to figure out who's gonna win against Army versus Navy. And I'll tell you the answer, the answer is Air Force. Every time. I'm just <laughs> 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 We're always winning, so. So, that, uh, so David, what's ahead for the foundation? Well, you know, the mission just goes on every every single day. I think it's it's thanks to great people like Cassidy's dad and General McMaster and, and all of your listeners that are in the military. They're doing their jobs twenty four seven. They're always on the wall, good times and bad, and that's the reason that all of us can have some peace of mind. So, we want to do our small part to 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 take care of things on the home front and we want to find the rest of those students, you know, the rest of those 25,000 and assemble the first database of all of those gold star children. It's just never been done in our country. So that's, that's one of our goals and we're going to keep chipping away at it every single day until it's done. And then likewise, the same thing with the financial need to make sure that every single one of them gets peace of mind that they can achieve the dreams that their parents would have wanted for them. And Cassidy, you're a recent college graduate. So, What's ahead for you? Right now, I'm just focusing on adapting to a new city and a new job and post-graduation life. Um, I'm taking it day by day. However, I hope to keep working with Fallen Patriots as an advocate and to keep inspiring others like my dad inspired those around him. Nice. Uh, and Lieutenant General McMaster, any parting words for our viewers today? I'll just say, hey, Cassidy, you're succeeding. You're inspiring me for sure. <laughs> thank you. It's so, so good to see you. And, and David, thank you so much for what you've created, this opportunity, I think, for us to, to care for those who have given everything for, for us. So, uh, and, and thanks, you know, obviously to, to Leah and, and Julie and Chief. I mean, it's great to be with you guys. Thanks for, for giving children a fallen patriots this platform. And I hope a lot of Americans get a chance to listen to Cassidy today because because I think that, all, that that your listeners, your viewers, will will find themselves inspired as well. You're a very poised young woman. It's been an honor chatting with you, Cassidy. Um, David, so before we say goodbye, can you remind us one more time where can we go to learn more about Children of Fallen Patriots and donate to your mission? Oh, thank you. Yes. So there's a there's a cheap chat donation at uh, donate.fallenpatriots.org backslash cheap chat. Yeah, as well as our, our website is just fallenpatriots.org. And of course, we're on Instagram at, at, at Fallen Patriots and Facebook at Children of Fallen Patriots Foundation. So a number of different areas, and we'd love to connect with people. And please follow us. We'd love to stay in touch with you, uh, with all your listeners out there. Awesome, awesome. So for everyone watching, you can find this episode on YouTube or Spotify. So just make sure that if you're watching, there's people out there that need to hear this information that we're trying to get the word out. Um, we want to let folks know that the exchange is is uh, is full fully on board on uh, recognizing our ghost star families. I can remember a time that I went to to Barksdale uh, for a site visit, and they were they were having a ghost star family kind of a ceremony for the local ghost star family. So uh, we we are all in on on spreading the message and, uh, you know, getting this great information to our ghost, our family. So, uh, David and Lieutenant General McMaster, thank you so much for your service. And then you continue to serve outside of uniform. So we definitely appreciate that. And Cassidy, you, man, you got such a bright future ahead of you. You are super inspiring. Like, yeah. I'm just, I'm just curious to see where, where life takes you, uh, in the next five, 10 years. Cause I know you just, you got, you're really, like she said, poised as a, you know, I, when I was your age, I forget about an interview. I, I couldn't even stumble my way through a whole whole bunch of you. you you're so you're so mature and and just you know you're amazing. So uh, I'm glad that the the fallen Patriots were able to help you out um, and, and get you a jump start on your your career. So, but thank you for, so much for being here. Uh, it's been an honor having you all with us today. Um, we, we just want to thank you on behalf of the exchange for being with us. 
Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you so everybody. much. God bless you guys. Absolutely. You too. So if you guys don't mind uh, hanging on after the live interview, I got to get some information from you. But again, thank you so much. Uh, and we're going to close out the show. And uh, Chief Chat out.